Who wins? Who loses? Elections are underway, and thanks to the U.S. Supreme Court Citizens United case, billions of dollars are flooding previously small and uninteresting elections in states, governorships, and Congress. Pundits are in heaven, predicting which way the polls will go, but in truth, no one knows for sure. Perhaps the Republicans will win, perhaps the Dems. The question is, will you? The answer is, at best, doubtful. For both parties are corporate owned, and they serve those who can afford their services, and that ain't regular folks. In a classic study of political timidity, most Democrats are in full flight in running from President Barack Obama, giving his polling in the low 40s. What makes you think they won't betray you if, after two presidential elections, he brought them to the party? But guess who they won't betray? Big corporate funders, big business. Speaking of big business, here is one big winner in the election, the corporate media. For them, it's Christmas time, New Year's, and Rosh Hashanah rolled into one. But for you, for average people, have you really won? From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Show, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, voting, yeah. Which will go into all kind of different things. <laughs> right. No, we're going to stay on top of the day. We stay on top. We stay on top. I've heard that before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Black Sun in the Hizzle. Can we get a record back there? Are we recording? Okay, we were recording. Black Sun in the Hizzle, oh yeah, but shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of Comcast does not reflect its staff, its affiliates, or associates. With that being said, viewer discretion is advised. Ah, we got a special show here today. To vote or not to vote is the question. <laughs> and I want to say with the uh, sweep of the Republican Party, me and Nanga, we got a bone to pick with some Democrats and why we should vote Democrats. And, you know, I remember we had on the show here Andrew Hunt, which was a libertarian. He was gracious enough to come down here. Did I hear anybody from the Democratic Party come down? No. And, you know, as black nationalists, we always say we follow the template of Malcolm X. He said we should always vote independent, mm -hmm. you know. With each group, you know, you have the homosexuals, which goes before the Democrats and the Republicans and pushed your agenda. You have the Hispanics going before the Democrats and Republicans with their agenda. But we just support us to automatically, as black people, vote for the Democrats, huh? Is that the way it works? So with that being said, I'm going to introduce this five guests. And to my right, we got the abolitionist Dougie. What's going on, Dougie? Thanks for having me on the show. It's been it's been a little little while, but glad to be in the hizzle dizzle. The shizzle. And we got an elder. Marsh with Martin Luther King down in Southern Alabama. You Martin from Alabama? Luther King. Yes, Luther King. <laughs> the King. We got Thrasher. How you doing, Thrasher? I'm good. You know that thing about the elder. I could never figure that out. Well, well I'm are sorry, we, Thrasher. Are we are we are we looking at it because? Uh, I came up with King. Uh, are we looking at it because I'm getting a social security check each month? We're looking, oh. we're, looking oh. at, <laughs> we're looking at it because we consider civil rights to be another time. We're into human rights now. So everybody right. refers to civil rights, we refer to them as elders. Well, you know, that's good. You know, Blood, I'll be honest with you. Um, I can... But before we get started, yeah. Thrasher, don't make me have to gavel you already. We got to introduce. See, that's one thing about the elders they don't understand is that we operate on a council. 
a council. We have a council here, Dr. Thrasher. So, Vince, introduce yourself, please. Vince and Cheeks, actor, music, TV show host, activist. Peace and blessings. <laughs> to his right. What's up, man? You the host, man. You, you got a man. You yeah, need to hold it. Run my gavel this this week. This just, <laughs> just in case it gets. What's up, man? Yang and Kruma, man. Just happy to be home. That's about it. Ready to get to the show. Okay. But right. before we get to the show, we before got a we couple of announcements. Yes, yes, sir. I, myself, Vincent Cheeks, in conjunction with Eleven Alive, uh, with Publix, with the Salvation Army, and with the Fraternal Order of Eagles, will be hosting the Eleven Alive, the thirty second annual Eleven Alive Canathon. Uh, on December the 5th from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. So please come out and join us down at the gold lot of Turner Field. We'll be collecting uh, food and money to give to Atlanta's homeless. Uh, 11 Alive has been doing this for 32 years. Uh, everything will benefit the Salvation Army. Uh, you, for more information, you can go to 11alive.com backslash canathon. Uh, if you would like to donate, you can call Patty Burnett at 404-914-2931. That's the 11 Alive Canathon, 32nd Annual, December 5th, 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. Also with that, I have a gift certificate here to Violet, Violet Restaurant. It's a French cuisine restaurant located at 2948 Claremont Road. To anyone who calls and offers the most can donation with a minimum of 50, it's a $25 gift certificate. It's to a French cuisine restaurant that emphasizes authentic French cuisine at a very reasonable price. Uh, go check them out on Tuesday night for open jazz night and 50% off bottles under $50. Okay, it's 11 to Live Canathon. Please participate. Thank you. Okay, and um, Vince, I know you got some research, so we're going to do this show in two folds. We're going to get all the conspiracies out of the way. <laughs> you know, all the conspiracies yeah. about voting, we're going to get that out of the way early. And then we're going to deal with the meat of the problem. Not a single Democrat came on this goddamn show here. Mm -hmm. Don't they understand, Yanga, that we are the backbone of the black community, the black nationalists? I, I, you know what? I think that uh, what's happening now is I think that they're taking for granted um, a lot of, for the Democratic Party, take, taking for granted that we just will vote traditionally. That sounds like white supremacy. I mean, I mean, you know, for the for the most part, one of the things, and then we'll let all our guests talk. You know, I have my okay. gripes to pick. Right, I do Some too. of the things I'd like to see, right, I do you too. know, more outreach, right. uh, a better political education program, mm -hmm. getting back to the grassroots and stop relying on just traditional, oh, we know the Negroes are going to vote democratically because this is what they do, right. if but, they vote at all. But at the same time, we have to come up with an agenda, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I, and it has to be, and it has to be, it has to be clearly explained. gay marriage. Yeah. The Hispanics got the Dream Act. What we got? Oh, that's right. Legalized weed, right? With the blunts. Right, with the blunts, right? <laughs> Legalized with the niggers won't the damn Look, weed. But while you're okay, playing, okay. that'll that'll alleviate a lot of stress on a lot of black people. I promise you. No, 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 Vince. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And so what we're saying to the pro marijuana people is come to the hood and talk to some of the brothers. Right. And so we can come with an agenda. And that you go through you, Thrasher. You know. And let's all come down to the table and let's make a list of demands. The only people that came with a list of demands were the Black Nationalists, Black Panther right. Party. Yeah. Yeah. They're the only ones that yeah. had a 10 point yeah. platform. Isn't that true, Dr. Thrasher? I guess. <laughs> and then one of my things is saying is we're not saying that that's not a good, we're not saying that that's not a good uh, proposition. But if we're saying that this is the only thing that you're appeasing the Africans here in America with, then really what that does, I mean, it's almost insulting. It is insulting. That we have goals and aspirations that exceed beyond me being able to smoke a blunt without being pulled over by the police. You know what I'm saying? And so if we don't get into, if they're not really asking, I think that African people here in America, one of my problems, and I'm not Republican, please, please believe that. <laughs> right. This is why I advocate, this is why I advocate, uh, like our brother Malcolm said, that African people here in America, black people here in America, should, should run independently. That's and right, see who okay. see who is coming with the best offers. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because one of the things that ends up happening is that um, the only thing that you constantly hear from a lot of the Democratic Party, we know what the Republicans stand for, point blank or blanche. You know what I'm saying? Well, but wait, only wait a minute here, Yanga. 
We got a lot of black Republicans. Yeah, it's coming, you know, because, because this the is Republic, the new Democrat. Right, because yeah. the Republicans cater to them. Cater. See, what a lot of people yeah. don't know is I went down to the Republicans. They shook my hands, hey, brother, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to get, I mean, they. It, it may have been true or not true. See, Vince looking at me crazy, like, what you doing <laughs> down there? See, I'm an independent. <laughs> I'm not beholden you, to no uh, one. Neither am I. I got you, bro. Right. So they, they were actually you. catering. And so you had black people down there. Right. And the black people had an agenda. The black Republicans have an agenda. Well, most, and they voted for the Republican Party. Most black people that I know that mm -hmm. don't have anything to do with Republicans is because they believe the Republicans are for the 1%. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, so that's why I personally, I think I know one uh black Republican and he and that's probably funny you should say class. that because there's proof and evidence that the Democrats are for the one percent they get their well, same money source I, from the Republicans I'm, yeah yeah I that. but yeah. you know you I'm sure you heard before that the Republicans are strict like they do nothing to help the the poor and the you know and some and people they, might say the Democrats do nothing right. to help the poor I Even mean, more I, than I, the Republicans. I can I agree. I, I can agree with Vince, but I think one of the things that we have to look at: you have a whole new class of African people coming, in, a whole new class of Black people coming right. out of the colleges and the educated, universities. Yeah. Educated. Some of them are starting to get in positions where they're a little more, where they're a little uh, better financially. They're off, uh, right. better off financially right. than a lot of our predecessors. A lot of people came before us, and what right. ends up happening is the Republican Party speaks to that. You know what I'm saying? They start speaking no, they to speak, when you get. So they speak to when you talk about entrepreneurs. They speak to that class. Okay. okay when you start speaking, okay. when you're talking about right, a, 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 a lot, a lot, a lot okay. of black people are aspiring to be entrepreneurs, owning their own businesses. So when you start I talking about right. right, so when you start talking about increasing taxes, when you start talking about certain things for employers and uh, employees and things of this nature, they're looking how it affects their pockets. One of the things that I would advocate for the Democratic Party to do is to go back to the basics, starting touching the grassroots, starting. Starting serious uh, uh, political education programs, going back into the community, explaining the importance of politics, how politics affects our life directly, and the importance of, of voting Democratic. One of the things that when the people who, African people who are here in America have reached a level to where they're expiring to different heights and different plateaus in their, in their development, is that a lot of times what I'm getting when I talk to the people is that the Democratic Party is creating another group of uh, uh, trying to keep black people subservient. Right. You know what I'm saying? With more social programs, with more of this, more okay, that. Right. But there's okay. no, okay. there's nothing to go to the development of. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the continuation of food stamps without the without the ability or programs placed in place where we become self sufficient. Self sufficient. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say that African people in America are unique people, man. We need neither them because like when you go democratic. We have to accept a lot of things that traditionally, morally and ethically, as far as being an African people, we wouldn't go for. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So we have to accept that when we vote Democrat. Then if you vote Republic, you know what I'm saying? You have to we have to accept things that traditionally, morally and ethically <laughs> we wouldn't go for. You know so, what I'm saying? So we it's a right, double A sword. It, until we start to understand that we have to become an independent, politically independent people and see who comes to us with the best offer. We have to stop right. giving our votes away. And stop allowing people to just take for granted that, yo, okay, his great grandmama voted Democrat. Right. So he gonna, you know, like somebody told me, I was like, man, you know, it's gonna be my first time checking out the polls, going to the polls. And he's like, well, you know, if you get nervous, just vote all Democrat. Right. <laughs> and I, 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 mean, told, I, was, I, I was told the same thing. My mother told me the same thing. Whenever See, you're at the polls and you don't know, just vote Democrat. Just because vote Democrat. they're the ones, I was told they're the ones that look out for uh, the lower class or poor and in, indigent people right. the most. So we do that. We do. We put that in our own communities without really saying. So what that does, that leaves a lot of the, the Democratic Party of the responsibility to come into educating us or even come into uh, cater to us to tell us why. We should because, and then they just take for granted that we're going to do that thing traditionally. Right, right. Thrasher, Thrasher, you want to get in? Oh, you're talking straight ticket is what we call it. Democratic straight what? Party, straight ticket. Straight okay, ticket. okay. Nah, okay. That, but that, this is this is 2014 ticket. though. Thrasher, that don't make sense you because everybody was an old dude. <laughs> Thank you. But we coming so, up. Uh, yeah, right. Right. Now that I'm an old dude, don't gavel me yet. Oh, okay. You know? okay. <laughs> <laughs> So you you talk in party lines. You you I I was raised up to do the same thing. I walk in the booth and just vote stri strictly Democrat. And I I never heard of the guy. Oh, hold on, but isn't Tyrone Brooks a Democrat? I never voted for Tyrone. But right there, he's a Democrat though, right? I need to drink some water. You okay. don't mind. <laughs> you don't mind right. me. Hey, wait wait wait, Thrasher, you my Mike McGavin, you here? Tyrone Brooks, he's a t Democrat, right? 
You don't want me to go there, do you? <laughs> you really trying to push that button? I'm just saying. I'm trying to get the ratings up. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to be intelligent. I'm trying to be intelligent. <laughs> I but, know there's a lot of folks you criticize are Democrats. Uh, a lot of people who don't represent the black community are Democrats. A lot of people that take them payolas are Democrats. A lot of them brothers, if you get locked up, are Democrats. Know, but, but y'all can make I mean, me, y'all you can make me, me mean, go knock them up on the politicians. Uh, as far as true. taking payolas, as far as getting locked off, as far as having $90,000 in cash hidden in your no freezer matter, from kickbacks. I no mean, matter what scandal is going on <laughs> with the Republicans, they're going to make sure they stand by their party because they have an agenda. Where, right, what is right. the Democratic agenda, Dougie? Uh, all right. There's two things. I can't vote Republican because the, Understood. Uh, the Republican Party is a racist party. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, it represents the, the interests of corporate greed and multinational mm -hmm. corporations. It doesn't uh, in any way go out of its way to represent the needs of black people. What about rich uh, black people? Well, I mean. Capitalist black people. You got the petty bourgeoisie black folks who. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. So we got. A group of black people who are that are such bourgeoisie. A small, who, are such, who are such a small minority that but you even just if they said do racist. cross Well, 95% of black folks vote, Republic, vote Democrat, and uh, they don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out why. Right. Uh, the Republican Party is overtly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to know why. I'm confused here. I'm well, you can, confused. Confused. Look, look. you can listen to their leaders, Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity, and you yeah. can watch Fox News all day. Those are, Actually, their, those are their leaders. Okay, well, let me say something about Sean Hannity. Sean Hannity was the first and only white person to give Dr. Uh, Khalid Abdul Muhammad a platform. Wasn't, it was not true, Yanga. And he debated him all day long and tried to, and, and <laughs> oh, right, try, right. And, and tried to discredit the nation of Islam. I mean, and uh, that's uh, cool. Right, right. But, but, but he was, he was, he, trust me, Khalid can handle his own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and he did. And he did, right, right. But what I'm saying is that what Democrat from CNN offered Khalid Muhammad a platform? I wouldn't even say he offered him a platform. He tried to make a mockery of Khalid Muhammad. Thank you. Khalid Thank Khalid you. Muhammad and, and he tried and he failed. Made him look like a fool, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because right. he's smart and intelligent. But uh, uh, the Republican Party has went out of their way to, to, to uh, 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 oppress, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Latino people. Overtly. Overtly. But, but the only thing is. Targeting. Is, of the, you know, we have more people in detention centers who are Latin American. But what American. I find problematic, if, if like, they say this is true, that the Republicans. They don't want to give them immigration reform. They want to keep that. Keep, keep right. That. So, so. They're what, only thinking about the numbers of their party. They, it's a white party. It right, right. But listen, white but listen, listen, listen. But that's not, that's not helping the black community. See, if you are a Democrat and you just automatically assume that black people are going to vote for you, then that means we make no demands. And I'm saying no. To that. Now that is a problem. I'm saying that no is, to that. that. I'm saying I'm saying I don't care. Going to the Green Party, going to the Socialist Workers Party, going to uh, any other third party right now is still foolish mm -hmm. because all well, you're going to do is take away votes. And going into the Democratic Party without a demand is foolish. Well. I mean, okay, you have I mean, cor the corporate media that tried to uh, uh, make this whole election about Obama, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so you didn't have people out in the Democratic parties actually going out and really representing or, or sticking by any of the... Right. I mean, See, but I mean it, was, it wasn't just the media that made the election of, uh, about Obama. It was the candidates, too. It's the candidates, it either, right. Uh, this Michelle, Michelle Nunn, Nunn is... Yeah. She's for Obama, and she's Obama's right-hand gal. Yeah. And, you and know, she either, denied him. She either, denied him like either, Jesus. Either they were That's saying you that the person denied before him, like him Jesus. or they were saying that uh, they were scared by this the person party. will yeah. never back Obama yeah. and his policies because we want to take back our America and blah, 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 blah. So right. Obama was put in the middle of it either way. Okay, but this is let a me show they how... Play, they've, the, used this playbook, they've used this playbook for years, though, I mean, throughout America's history. Okay. So, to, to play off the fears of poor working-class white people, mm -hmm. to have them vote against their own self-interest. Yeah. Okay. Economically, well, vote against their own self-interest and represent a party, and they go by the numbers. And what they've done since the since the uh, Supreme Court uh, 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 eviscerated or gutted the main part of the Voting Rights Act mm -hmm. is that it's allowed them to pick off people by the numbers, by demographics, to be able to still be able to win elections. And you have to bring into into the equation also the m massive gerrymandering that took place in 2010. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I, I, got, I, got a, I, I got a solution for that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. gosh, you, you want to come in? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sitting here just listening and, and listening and listening and listening. 
You know what I'm disappointed about the whole election? What's that threat? What's that threat? Now, you asked about Tyrone, <clears throat> and I said in then, you ought to back up, don't push my button. Now, you said you see a Democratic, you vote all Democrats. Oh, then okay. I never voted for Tyrone. Now, whoa, let me say something okay, to you. Okay, okay. Be a Democrat, though. Okay. I'm not a question of me being a Democrat. It's just that when I look at Sam Nunn's daughter, which was a Democrat, when I look at all of the Democrats who uh, refused to recognize Obama, and yes. everybody from the Republicans all down to the communities, they tried to make it look as though this was Obama, Obama, Obama's election. But see, those are all lies, and right now, I'm hearing it again and again. The sad part, that, that down off my back. Now, the sad God. part about it, Go ahead. I, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. I ain't okay. had a chance to take my pain pill. That's why I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, go ahead. now the itching. sad I'm thing itching. about the sad thing about this whole entire whole entire election, you had all of these Democrats out in the Cab County. I ain't heard nothing from Bernard Jones. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Even though he put his foot in his mouth and he blew his own own position, own chance of being sheriff. I ain't heard nothing about Burl Ellis, who was acquitted. And the sad part about it, because he was acquitted, you know, the, the, but then let me take that back. Well, we got a solution for that, Thrasher. Me and Yanger, we got a solution. It's called to the what? council. Oh, well, we, we got we got. I ain't a, through yet. Okay, I ain't through ahead, yet. Ahead, okay. The DA, what I look at now, young man. But, you know, if I were him and lost, a, lost that, that chance to put Burl away, and that white woman he put in jail, she's out. If I were him, oh, okay. I would. Can I finish? No, 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 Thrasher, because you're way off topic. Let, let me, let me, let me I'm finna get back on topic. He's going on topic. Now, Thrasher, because you're confusing me. This is why Gideon's not on here, because he caused a lot of confusion. I'm going to need translator for you elders. The point that I'm making is that, let me say this about the Democratic Party. Let me, let me, let me look into the camera there. Michelle Nunn, all you Democrats that will turn your back on Obama, you turn your back on all those people who voted for Obama in record numbers. Do not the Democrats know how to freaking count? Do they not know how to count, Yanga? Mm -hmm. Or the black nationalists are the only ones that know how to count here? Because when you turn your back against Obama, you turn against, against the Hispanic votes, the black votes, and everybody record-breaking landslide numbers. Mm -hmm. so I mean, it's, 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 it's not rocket science. So what? why would they do that, Black? Why would they distance them? Choose to distance themselves from President Obama? One of the things. Is it because? Is it because? Yeah, yeah, is it because they're scared of his policies? Is it because what? what what's going on? What? I mean, because I no, let's talk about policies. One of, the, okay. one, of, one, of, one of the things I was just like Doug was saying, scared of the Tea Party. One of the things killing the Democratic Party now is we're going to have to be honest. They need more white voters. Mm, they need okay. more white voters. It has become the nigger party. You know, and and mm. by the way, right, niggers ain't that's voted for. Uh, but I mean, for the for the for the little for the dudes that are voting. I mean, they people know, especially in Georgia, man. When we're looking at the statistics in Georgia, <clears throat> and one of the things that I was I forget who it was. I was reading one political analysis uh, whole analyzation of the thing, and he was saying basically the same thing that I had already known, and a lot of people know they needed more white voters. So they're trying to distance themselves from that. They forgot the dynamic that put. Obama in, President Obama in. One of the dynamics that put President Obama in was an insurgent of new voters. Right. It was that right. energy. Right. Well, it, it was, was that. It was new voters, and it was a, a lot of white people. But it wasn't just a black vote that got Obama. No, yeah, yeah, no, it no, was no, a no, lot no, of no, white no, people no, that no, had no, to vote. But you had a lot of people that were coming in, new voters. Yeah, he had the the, the white votes and, and and some white votes this and that. But it was that energy, a lot of new right. voters coming in and the white votes. I, I think the Democratic Party this time failed to state in a clear an agenda, right. a, 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 a clear cut agenda of what their visions. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did they, they, they realize they would lose the Senate today. if they didn't? Mm -hmm. I mean, no. did they not realize how important no, they this race that. was? They didn't realize. I don't. That. I don't think so. They I don't think they realized. This is politics. No, no. I'm new to politics. Yeah. What all of you all fail to realize and refuse to believe, you're playing politics with your mind. That's all good. Mm -hmm. You keep forgetting you are in a racist state. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's number well, yeah. one. Georgia Message. white white folk <laughs> hate Obama. Okay. And no matter how Michelle Obama had gone, Sam Nunn looked that thing and researched it out. He knew what she needed to do. But you got Purdue, the former governor of Purdue, who had the nerve and the audacity to put the school teachers on trial. Now they want to basically kick that case out of court. Why they should. But the sad thing about it is, no, they didn't vote. The blacks didn't vote. Yeah. And then what you look at is, why did black, what about Hispanics? Did he vote? 
What about them? Did they vote? They voted. They voted. Meaning yeah, his recent midterm? Who they voted? Oh, come on. You know better. You know better than that. They voted. I yes, don't they know voted. better than that. That's well, why I'm having a show today here, Thrasher. I'm just a poor kind of country boy, like Kenny would say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenny, calm down. Calm down, Kenny. Calm down, Kenny. Calm down, Kenny. Now, when you look at what Purdue done, and then you look at the former governor now, name what is going to happen to the school kids now through the Republican Party. Name what's going what's gonna to be what it's going to be like. You got all those black men sitting in the, in, in the state legislature right now. How many of them walked out and said, "Look, we are supporting we are supporting the, the Democratic Party. We are going to stick with the Democratic Party." Over half of those see now jackasses, they went right on and voted Republican too. Yes, they now did. Bank on that. Yes, they you did. Can bank on, but it, yes, because sir. they don't let let Dougie go though. I see Dougie being. What you oh, want to say, sir? Well, uh, uh, piggybacking off what he said. Uh, uh, you know, over the past 10 years, this state has defunded public education by uh, over $7.6 billion. Wow. They're trying to, uh, about uh, wow. what, what they've, since the, since the Wall Street collapsed, mm -hmm. the, uh, and, and real estate market, what they're going into is the public education trough, which is about, worth about $5 trillion. Okay. So uh, you have the American Legislative Exchange Council and for about 40% of the Republican Party are on a mission that well they receive their orders from from out whoa, 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 whoa. the American Legislative Exchange Council. It's a it's it's a, it's a huge group of, of corporations who uh, who who pass uh, uh, they pass Alec. model bills mm -hmm. across the country mm -hmm. and the Republican Party is the biggest party who are who follow Alec and uh, the the uh, there's five trillion dollars in public education and they're lining up at the trough ever since the real estate market collapsed to go into public education and privatize it to make, it, it's almost like an insurance policy right. after the real estate market. Wait, 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 so are you telling me that the Republican Party is not for education? Uh, no, they're for uh, privatizing schools so they can profit off so it. So they can make money off of it. Yeah. Like, so like they're doing the prisons. Wait a minute, wait, 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 I heard the wait, same wait, thing wait, from wait, wait, someone wait. last week. I'm we had the same this, discussion. See, that's why I need some facts here, because you got a lot of black Republicans. There's another thing I want to bring up, too, that right. I think is uh, that has discouraged a lot of Democrats and didn't bring them out, is because uh, not only did, did uh, 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 Obama and Holder basically protect those people on Wall Street who mm -hmm. collapsed the economy around. They, 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 over 40% of the world's wealth was lost in a criminal fraud scheme by these people. That's right. 60% of black wealth in black communities was lost. That's mm -hmm. right. And Obama and Holder did nothing to go after the people who were guilty of it and basically turned their back on a lot of folks, uh, uh, working class, uh, uh, middle class black folks, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people don't, they want to support Obama just because out of the racial allegiance that you want to protect the first black president. I but, don't. But at <laughs> the same time, he also, he, he also continued on with the same policies that went on with George Bush. Thank you. Uh, with Very Iraq much. and Afghanistan. Thank you. He, Wait a minute, we need to bomb them Muslims. For, we need to bomb them, God damn for droning and killing people. He also didn't say anything about the NSA and how the uh, people are are be, uh, people's privacy, privacy is in jeopardy. Been invaded, your, right? Your, your emails, your phone calls, your Facebook, everything. All this stuff is uh, is being everything uh, computerized, right? All so right. a lot of people have been, you know, what I'm saying, discouraged mm -hmm. that the same people that they voted for are doing the same type same of behavior. The people they try to move went, from office. Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. So yeah. people are discouraged from that. But all, all, right. all, all I want people to know, there's another one more, one other factor that okay. messed up this election too, and a lot of people still aren't talking about, is, is a report that came out from Greg Palast uh, from Al Jazeera, and that is Jim Crow Returns. It's a, it's a, a piece that was put out. He's been, he's been investigating ever since the 2000 elections when right. Florida was right, uh, uh, right. stolen by mm -hmm. George, Bush. George Bush. They right. put 50, 58, 000, 57,000 people, black folks, they put a uh, uh, F next to their well, name saying what? that they were felons. Guess what? Right? So they got away with that that time, and he's been investigating ever since. And in, in Kansas, the uh, Secretary of State in Kansas invented a program called the Interstate Cross-Check System. And in the Interstate Cross-Check System, it basically compares in similar names uh, of, of voters, mm -hmm. and it was disproportionately black, Latino, and Asian people that are ended up on this list. And it's over 3.5 million people that they got on the list that are considered double voters, mm -hmm. not because they, uh, 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 not because they cross-check their social security number, not because they cross-check their birth dates, 
uh, uh, they just checked for similar names. Mm -hmm. And uh, it disproportionately targeted black, Latino, and Asian people. And in the state of Georgia alone, there were over 500,000 uh, people on that list in the state okay. of Georgia. Well, let, me, let, me, let me give a, a little. So we got massive voter suppression going oh, okay, on. Okay, okay. We got a solution for that. See, Not one thing Georgia. about. One thing Not about, just Georgia, it was all across the whole country. One thing gotcha. about. Especially yeah, Republican, yeah, Republican Hill. You want to hit this devil? Okay, okay, hold on. Go, go ahead, Black. Go, go ahead, Black. All right. All right. So this See, this election thing, was stolen just like the just like the, double gap. One thing about <laughs> Democrats, they always whining and boo hooing and whining. Let, let's give some solutions here, Vince. What okay. are they doing down in Honduras? In, the, in Venezuela. In Venezuela. What are they doing down there? Okay. What did Jimmy Carter say about their voting system? Because I hear all these Democrats, oh, they robbed us and they, they did this, and I hear all these conspiracies. The Republican Let, Party hear. is full of a bunch of snakes, and, and all they're trying Let's to do okay, but we, is manipulate the votes and chip away at people's votes to protect their party at all costs. You're going to respect this gavel. Respect the gavel. Go respect, respect the gavel. The gavel. <laughs> That's all. Gavel, if that long, gavel that long, yep. gang, you got to join, join me. Join me with God damn it. Gotcha. We want a solution there, Vince. Okay. I'm tired of the conspiracy theories. I'm tired of the boohooing. I want some solutions. Our very own president. Legalized weed everywhere. Our very own president, Jimmy Carter, uh, back in September of 2012, declared that Venezuela's electoral system is the best in the world. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. Carter also disclosed his opinion that in the United States, and this is a quote, we have one of the worst systems in the world, and it's almost entirely because of the excessive influx of money, he said, referring to lack of controls over private campaign donations. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about this move Venezuelan man, system. Baby. Let's move to the Venezuelan system. Okay. How do they operate their system? The system Venezuela uses has some of the most advanced and voter-friendly security features in modern elections. Okay. Uh, First of all, they take your thumb print and match it to your ID. Okay. That's number one. Uh, the voters use a touch-sensitive e electronic pad to make and confirm their choices. After confirmation, the, electric, the electronic vote is encrypted and randomly stored in the machine's memories. Voters audit their own vote by reviewing a printed receipt that they then place into a physical ballot box. At the mm. end of the election day, each voting machine computes and prints an official tally called a precinct count. It transmits an electronic copy of the precinct count to the servers in the National Electoral Council Central Facility where overall totals are computed. Hold on. Okay. There's more. I love it. By mutual agreement between the contenders, whoever's running in the parties, mm -hmm. By mutual agreement between the contenders, 53% of the ballot boxes are chosen at random. Mm. Opened and their tallies compared with the corresponding precinct counts. This audit step ensures that no man, no manipulation has occurred at the bowling at the polling place. The extent of this audit leaves little room for questioning. Mm. Uh, the series of tests before, during, and after a Venezuelan election is thorough, intense, and conducted in the presence of elected officials in both political parties to ensure proper functionality and full confidence in the system. Venezuela, Venezuela has become a highly advanced nation of auditors with the most advanced audit tools at its disposal in voting process that is the most transparent in the world. Thrasher. You know, it's interesting about Jimmy Carter, what he said. And this okay. is no pie in the sky. This is facts. No, I'm, let me finish now. Okay, this okay. is out of, Even though on, we as this black is out of 92 uh, electoral systems okay. that they reviewed, that they came up with. That's all well and good. But if a system is so bad, why would he put his grandson in the arena and knowing that everything would be Wait stacked a Hold on. He didn't Cue back the his grandson. Who told grandson. you that? Shoot. That, uh, was it? Uh, what, what, well, who, wait a minute. Who daily, told you the that? Daily, the Daily... The Daily Tribune. Now let's try it again. Okay. He he educated that boy okay, to get did. in from the from the from the ground level as senator. Right. From the ground level. No, no, he molded him, but he did not. Well, that, what's the difference? It, big difference. That's okay. me, well, me, human beings change your mind. I understand. Okay. I, no, no, not when the money looks. But good. I see what you're saying. Now, as I was trying to say, as I was trying to say, now when I was working the poll, they came out with a great system, computer at the close of the. That is a great system right there. Perhaps. That is a great system. Perhaps. Okay. No system is sound. 
No that system. system is more sound than our they, system yeah, would ever be. They, they Let me get you a new guy. They've been using this system for a good number of years, and this system, they've had what? very little complaints as We're to not the trying to get a good system. system. Yeah, exactly. of yeah. the system. One of, one, one of my problems is, like, even when we talk about, if we go back to the party, when we talk about Democrat Republic, I hear why we shouldn't vote Republic, but I haven't heard why Democrat. Again, because I as I was told coming we up, trained. they right. I was trained that, that the Democrats. I was trained that the Democrats were the ones that more than likely look out for black folks. That's for slavery, black people. right? It, See, it, it, so, it, but but as I've grown and evolved, yeah. you can think I've, for yourself. Co- I think for myself, that's I've come to find out neither party has that's, our best interest exactly. in mind. And, so, I think and that that's creates making my own conclusion. But now, I think that that here's what I want to put the host on the show. From on the, yes. on, on trial. Yes. What you're trying to say is if your mom came to you and told you, blood, if they call you blood, but they probably call you Leon, <laughs> blood, <laughs> I want you to vote Democrat. That's what I was told to do. Mm-hmm. All right. of us right. was told to vote one ticket, right. and that's what it was called in. Right. It wasn't party line, it was ticket, right. and that's what we done. Now, if the system is so good, and we're sitting here talking that smack. Now I'm getting feed up, fed up too. Yes, sir. Yes, Here's sir. what's yes, bothering sir. me now. Yes, sir. Here in Georgia, they got one of the biggest and the best racket going there is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know what that is? What's that? When you go to prison, you get 30 years now mm-hmm. for passing checks. Mm-hmm. You only going to do 15 years. Mm-hmm. You get out on probation mm-hmm. and you go to a privatized system mm-hmm. that will... You go to it and they they log you in, and check you in, every you and in. every time you go, you pay three hundred dollars a month. Yep. I don't see nobody saying it, but your governor, who's in the chair now, said he came up with a good system. Mm-hmm. Okay. That good system is to continue to put black men in prison, and when they get out with a felon, now from what I'm hearing, it's going to be on your driver's license. Yeah. So what? when you go to talk, you better believe it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, you, where have you been? I thought yeah. you've been somewhere. Yeah. But, uh, you know, been, been, that but you know, that falls back to, here's, here's the whole thing, especially being a black nationalist. It, it falls to accountability and responsibility falling on us. You know what I'm saying? We don't have, if we don't have people, it's like what you were talking about, a lot of our black senators, a lot of our black representatives and uh, uh, council people and aldermen and all of this stuff are going for the big sellout because there's no, there no accountability to the constituents. We don't hold them accountable. No. We don't go in here, man. We just, and I just left a thing. I mean, and, and they're right there. They're easy accessible. I just left before coming here. I just left a memorial for Jose Williams. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So all of these people that we need to talk to, the accessibility is right there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're right there. So it just comes about representing that constituency, having a clear-cut vision and goal, what we want to see accomplished, and no longer, like you were saying, uh, Dr. Thrasher, playing the ticket. We have to start asking, what do you intend to do for the black community? There is no way that, you know, I live in the Vine City area. There is no way that we should be living in the type of conditions we lived in in an impoverished neighborhood when so many millions of dollars are being allocated for this community. But since the best thing, what does the Bible say? And I, this is what you need to get in on. <laughs> <laughs> it says, for, what, for lack of, uh, for lack for of lack knowledge, lack of knowledge. My people my perish. People my perish, people right. perish the biggest money maker in Georgia is ignorant Negroes. Yes, yes I agree. That's what that. that's what keeps but that's me, what keeps Georgia he, running. We're ignorant I, to what's really going on. But now you live in Vine City. Do yeah. you realize how those people rallied to get Vine City money over in that Vine area? That was a whole lot of black. Mm, go, go on, Trash. Go on. No, go on. <laughs> that was a whole lot of. You want to say niggers? Individuals. Please say niggers. I ain't gonna say it. I've been called. Don't do it. I've been told don't do it. Now, now, calm down. I'm gonna get you some laxatives. Don't worry about it. Now. But when we look at the overall, 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 and you keep, we keep asking the question, when we, will we ever, you hit it on the head, you got so many niggas are selling black folk out nowadays until it's not even a joke. How many raise hell in city council are saying, y'all need to go out there and vote? That was a time when we had what you call a black slate. You know what that is? Mm-hmm. That's when you put everybody who's running for public office yeah. and give them to you and say, look, man, this is how you should vote. We don't do that no more because well, the dollars do are, the, the, we don't do, do it. Let's start doing it oh, again, Oh, please, Russia. come on, let me finish. All right, now, <laughs> you got so many of your so-called black politicians, like Julian Bond's son, mm-hmm. is in trouble right now. Mm-hmm. So 
You're losing a lot of them. You know why you're losing them? Because the white folks who moved out of Atlanta because of Maynard Jackson, mm -hmm. they said they didn't want a nigga as mayor. Right. When they moved out and they started moving to Snellsville, Athens, Alpharetta. Oconee County, mm -hmm. all the way out of Joe Atlanta, now they're coming back. And they're doing everything that they can to make sure that they get these bourgeois Negroes out. Yeah. You see, my the, thing... Pressure, the proper enunciation for the uh, FCC is niggers. <laughs> I have another word. I have another word. I have another word. But now, my thing is, when we don't, when we don't, when we don't, as I say, point the finger. We don't point the finger because right now, because I said about something about Tyrone, you got a few of them who wants to rise up and say, well, you know, we're going to do this to thrash it. But the five blind boys who gets in my car with me, two of them sit in the back, three of them sit in the front, and they all harm one song. I'm going to bust a cap in you if you ever get close to me. That's the five blind boys. What I'm saying to you is we do not put them on trial. Yep. We don't challenge them. Yep. That's right. And you know what? When they run for election, you don't call them in and say, look, man, what is your plan for the black community? Right. How much money? Let That's me ask right. you another question. Right. Let me put something to you. All right. If Martin Luther King could come back here now and stand up and say, what have you done mm -hmm. that I can be proud of? You know what he would say? What you say? He would go down to Ebenezer Baptist Church and tell one of them, who said when Tra Troy Davis was on death row, mm -hmm. you need to go somewhere and forget it. Martin Luther King cannot be proud. He can't even look at his children and say, y'all have done me honor. Y'all have that. done me honor. Okay, now that you spoke to I ain't through, I ain't through, I ain't through. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. When we look at the nationals who sit back all well and good, educated, I give you credit, very smart, very bright. Get out of this television studio. Get out there in that community and say, this is who we are. This is what we want from you. <laughs> give me a gavel. Because first yeah, of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. nowhere, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, I'm about yeah, to get yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere yeah. have nobody in the civil rights museum got the bloods, the crips, the gangsta disciples, the vice lords together. We've done that, yeah. the nationalists. Because yeah. we understand that we operate in a council. Yeah. We don't look for one leader. Thrasher, we don't look for some god pie in the sky to save us. Yeah. So, so Thrasher, I will invite you to watch the council because we did. We formed our own citizens review board, right. and we, we mask up and skied up, and we got dang, we put the police put it, on put, trial. Put them on trial. We and, put and them on trial. And we're out in the streets. In the One hood, of the things the that hood. has happened is like what you said with the bourgeoisie Negroes, especially. And I saw this real heavy when I moved to Atlanta. Come on. Uh, with with it has created by issues not being addressed, and like I said, you got a whole new generation of young black people coming up and by the issues not being addressed by no vision clearly being set and nobody coming back to talk to us about what we're doing then it's created apathy for the whole political right. process for the whole government and my only problem with that is and I feel them because I'm a revolutionary too I don't believe in reform I'm not even a radical reformist I just believe in steps until we can strategy get to strategies until we can get to the point where we start doing something that is is, is better for us construct but right but I say this though that what ends up happening is uh, when we went by creating this apathy for that that has been created in young black men and women out there, even though they don't participate in politics, politics participates with them. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I said, it's just like, you know, hell, when you went to vote, like I said, that's my first time I've ever seen a ballot. So I didn't know you voted for that much stuff. I thought you just voted for people. Proper, they had amendments to the damn right. constitution on the thing. You know what I'm saying? You better believe there. it. Right. Do you want to privatize uh, Georgia State's dormitories? Right. Um, do, do you believe there should be a cap on taxes? Right. I mean, so you're voting on a whole lot of other things. Right. Like I told him, you can sit back and chill, but all of these things still affect you. Right. The other thing to talk about it's like you said, there's no accountability to the masses. You See, now, believe. if you believe, believe me, you, if these people in the Senate and all of these uh, uh, Negroes that getting voted for, if they knew when they ride through Vine City and the people knew that they would, would rob them and they get snatched out of them Cadillacs, believe me, that their whole vote, their whole perspective, everything would be different when the masses get involved. When you know you can't ride through that community no more because the people know that you're a crook and that you're not representing them, then the whole dynamic of it changes. So I think that my, my advice would be, to, especially to the Democratic Party, if they, if, if they want to continue to solic uh, solicit African here in America's votes and to increase that, that they have to come back, first of all, an intensive political education program.
an intensive political intensive. education pr- I like that word. showing why the the importance of being involved in the political process and, and the importance of voting a democratic ticket and then secondly after that um enduring them endearing themselves to the masses these people who are running have to be out there with the masses of the people you know what i'm saying they have to get out you have to go back to kissing babies and shaking hands you know but, go ahead okay. i want to say something about uh, trayvon when trayvon was murdered Every showcase brother was looking at the national camera. Every showcase brother was impressed with the camera being there. But being actually standing up for Trayvon because he was murdered, why do you think Zinnerman made it? He made it because of the fact that he, he knew and his lawyer was very much aware of it and white folks was giving M- Zimmerman millions of dollars. Right. Yeah. So to make sure, like said, what you done, gentlemen, we appreciate you. Right. So now, Wilson, when, we go to saying, when we go to saying uh, blood been known you a long time, unfortunate. When we, <laughs> when we go to saying, well, you know, he's the first black man. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Obama's not the first black man. Go back and check your history out. Yeah. He's not the first black president. Uh, so my whoa, thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's why I got to stop you, Thrasher. And this is where me and Yanga, we, we want to check the Democrats. We want to check the. Well, the, we still talking all, about Democrats. Which one he, right, he was right, running right, one of no, the no, other. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, this is where black nationalism comes in. It's not about being black or white, but it's a structure. See, you can kill all the white people on the planet today and white supremacy would still be functioning. Why? Yeah. Because it is a structure. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that Obama, whether it be Democrat or Republic, still support a white supremacist structure. So the only way we're going to solve this problem, Democrats, Republicans, whoever you are, white, black, I don't care, is to have an open Transparent system, just like with Vince read there. Open, transparent democracy. Not a theocracy, Gideon. Not a dictatorship, a rock dictatorship, Miss uh, uh, Tracy. Just went wrong. Not white people's democracy, which things are done in secret. A transparent okay. democracy, okay? What's which the... will not allow room for corruption. Yeah. It's simple. Sure. Yeah, that's what's why on I, the table. I, I just got down with uh, move okay. to amend, and move to amend is, is to bring a 28th amendment to the Constitution to get rid of uh, uh, the money from Citizens United and the McCutcheon case, where corporations can give unlimited amounts of money to political campaigns, and that's what happened in this election. Uh, it's been, there was more money spent that's right. uh, on this election from Billions. corporations than ever in the history of the United States. Over four billion dollars was spent on sure this midterm election. But you, you're still so talking about. So until we get rid of corporations being able to buy our politicians and uh, groups like the American Legislative, Legislative Exchange Council passing corporate bills left and right all over the country, and until we can get rid of. Uh, that system where we allow corporations to ba- basically okay. buy this democracy okay, okay, hold on. with money, hold on to me. then we're not going to have a true democracy. I, I, got, I got a challenge. As far as the voting goes, hold on, hold on. It, uh, I got to uh, challenge that. Yeah. Uh, first of all, in Hawaii, in Oregon, Monsanto passed billions of dollars, and you know, Hawaii defeated them because the people said, oh, hell no. Right. So you can yeah. show all the money that you want, Thrasher, because Monsanto got a lot of they billions. Got of they got they plenty of money. They got plenty, but they were defeated by the people. They by said, the man, people. you're not gonna, we're gonna label that food. Because the people stuck that. together, and they rose up to prevent yeah. that Thank from you. happening. Thank Monsanto you. was able to spend millions of money because of these laws. Billions. The, the, the Citizens United case and the McCutcheon case, they can give unlimited amounts of money to political campaigns. So it's to until we get rid of that, we're, we're not going to have a true democracy. We got to get but rid of corporations. Cannot have that much influence. No, if we don't have transparency, I, we don't have a true democracy. And, if, and, and then my thing, it goes back to uh, nationalism too, man. Is regardless, if we don't come together, first of all, come together as a people. You know right. what I'm saying? This is why every people, this is why you talk about the Latino people, the Jewish people, uh, uh, the, the homosexual culture, the Palestinians, <laughs> any people that come together unified, right. that even though, even when they vote, even if they lose, their candidates don't win elections, they're still inoculated against the fallout because they are a community. Right. That's right. You know but what I'm I saying? Feel- and that's, that's what Go we, we and, and, and just in my conclusion, we believe in a so-called American dream. 
we are, you know, we have to get out of this reformist mentality where we think that if we put this particular candidate in, if this law is passed, that law, that we're going to have an easy, cushiony life. Right. But the thing is that the only reason I would put a candidate in office is to give us an allowed time for some stability so that we can start unifying and becoming that as a solid force to be able to withstand anything that's going to happen in the future because like you said there's no transparency in our government that's right there's a lot of bs so what we have to do is come together as a people you know and start looking out for what's our best interest and start addressing the things that start addressing the facts and the issues and even the candidates candidates if we're going to get right. involved in the political process that are out for our best interest that's the only thing that's going. That's the only thing that's going to see us through this is nationalism, and everybody practices right. it except for I, us. We're the only people that fully try to integrate and wholeheartedly get into that. I, I, I thought uh, President Obama was supposed to be Mr. Transparency. How well is that working? Well, I, I mean, you know, my, I mean, that was one of the primary okay, things. Okay, but are we he, supposed he to try to pass that locally first from the ground up? And then too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, on Look, some I mean, you stuff. just read, you just read. I mean, uh, I mean, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not saying Thrasher, that's the be all end all. See, uh, your generation your looking for Jesus. They don't want us voting. It's they, better, right? right they it's don't. better. And they don't want to look, look for him. They need a, right, a but, national uh, day of where everybody is allowed to just stay away from. You don't have to go to work. It's a national day. You can go, you know, uh, almost like a, uh, a special holiday of voting. On Tuesday, whatever, November 4th, you're allowed to just stay away from work, go straight to the polls. In, in, in the state of Oregon, you can vote from home. Okay. That's what I was uh, just about to thrash, I got. Thrash, I, thrash, why can't we have a system where you we know why I'm holding this up? Thrash, you hold that up. I'm right, holding it for a reason. That's a reason. Point. Right, right. You're I'm killed. I'm killed. Oh, hey, 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 hey. One at a time. Wait a minute, brother. Man, hold it. I understand what you're saying. Let me say something. Ever since I got into the, 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 the arena of politics, mm -hmm. my first time I had politics, it was a young man who was running for the Secretary of State. We knew he couldn't win. Right. We knew he couldn't win, but we did run him. Next one I had was he ran for the assistant governor. Okay. We knew he was going to lose. Mm. But blood, let me tell you something. Until you take this out of the out of it until you get a black man who's, I don't care what color he is. Every time you put a person who is scuffling in office, he's bought. Right. He's both. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me finish. I, I, I would agree. Right. That's he's why both. Vince right. came that's, with a solution. A transparency. That's not going to change nothing. You Thrasher. Get <laughs> this this system Hawaii. here is way better than the system we currently got. I, like I, like I, I promise like it. you. And I it'll cut. It'll that's the vote. If but had, I want him look, to do something before this then. System, if we had this system in 2000, Bush would not have been able to do what he did. Thank you. To go out of the border ID laws, you could just have everybody receive a new Social Security card with your with your with your with your ID right on it. I like it. Well, I like I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, one, one of the things when you look at the moves. They even talked about you voting on the telephone. When you, we got sit in a meeting and heard that. But we talk about voting, but when you look at the moves, when you look at the the, the, the advances that, that you made in your time, uh, Dr. Thrash, and, and things like that, is because, and I always go back to it, everybody was unified and going, but when y'all were me about it. fighting for voter rights, y'all knew the hell y'all were fighting for. You know what I'm saying? As time progressed, man, people and people have been, their, their desires have been oversaturated. We don't even know what to, you can't get a group of black people to say, what is the end game? That's right. What are the goals? What are your goals and objectives? What, right. are, what, what do you want? I don't know. Exactly. Exactly. See, what do you mean? Uh, oh, Gideon uh, said he wanted respect. Right. Right. I think I, 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 I want think, more I, than I, that. I, I, that. I, I want I, more I, than I, that. I thought. So I want rebel forces in the Congo, but that's a whole other Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I, think this, this, I thought, I I thought since the chains were taken what off. What book is that? Let him plug this, that this book. This is a, a America Beyond mm. Capitalism by Gar Aparovitz. Okay. Uh, this is a, a book I learned about from uh, uh, Noam Chomsky. Mm -hmm. He Noam. talks about it a lot. And uh, uh, what it talks about is that uh, to really bring democracy back to America, it, it kind of goes along with the black nationalism perspective too, and in, and the use of cooperative economics, mm -hmm. and that we need to break ourselves away from the corp corporate rule, yeah. and, and learn more alternatives as far as having uh, 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 workers control our work mm -hmm. instead of the traditional way of us usually having a boss who runs everything, right. and, and of us actually ha creating businesses where we come together and pool our resources to have our own companies mm -hmm. and employ our own people. Instead of uh, what everybody call you a socialist in the but, but, yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing about taking 
It, I always hear about people taking it back, take America back, back capitalism. See, the only thing is, things were still done in secrecy in that time during Chomsky's time. What I'm talking about, this is something new. This is something because you can go back Chomsky's to... Chomsky's still alive. What are you yeah. talking okay, about? Okay, Chomsky's still alive, but what I'm saying, though, is that even during uh, McCarthy era, even during J. Edgar Hoover, they knew that black nationalism was a transparent system. They're like, oh, no, we can't have that because America has always had a secret... When we encountered the Europeans, they've always operated under a secret system which allows for corruption. So Yang and absolutely, it allows for corruption. And I think it goes back to, and I'll be brief because I know we run out of minutes, yeah, everybody yeah. may want to have a closing statement. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the things is when you're dealing with the European, one of their motivating factors is uh, white propagation, white progression, and survival. And to we as a people, and African people here in America, and be real quick, as African people here in America start to look at it just like that, what will continue us as a people, what will ensure our continuation, us facing prisons and chemical warfare, biological warfare with these diseases, now you got damn Ebola. You know what I'm saying? Anything to discredit and, and, and to make a mockery of Africa. Economic exploitation and oppression. So we have to look at these things that affect us directly. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be a government that has 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 been historically has proven that they don't like black people. Like Dougie said, they really right. don't want you to vote. Right. So anything we participate in and anything we get in, we have to look at how this empowers us, how this is li leading to our progression and to our advancement as a people. Nationalism is going to be the only solution. And every move we make, we need to start making unified. And my last and in conclusion, I would encourage all our people to look up let's come together like we said with the council and get a goals objectives and missions clearly have them defined and then present them to the people they need to be presented in front of and fight for our human human rights violations uh one of the words that brother Yanga keeps throwing out there is unifying right um we, we we have to unify and come out to the polls in greater numbers because in this midterm ele election we only have 12 percent turnout nationally right. That's right. for the midterm election mm -hmm. and that is pathetically low i think it was 30 percent wasn't it yeah no okay. well i got this stat off of, i got this stat off of fox news Oh, yeah, um, right. Last week, so <laughs> that's, George, that's why I got. George, George, but you know, he is, I, 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 I hear, I hear your numbers and, and everything solution, that we're throwing solution. out. A solution is. Yeah, we got two minutes. One of them. Let me say this, and okay. then I'm going to be silent. Here's what we're failing to realize: you can put your system together, and it worked fine. But how do you stop me from going along with the go along? You see what? Let me finish. Mm -hmm. If I want a new club in my community, mm -hmm. he wants to build a church in his community. Mm -hmm. He got to give up everything to go along with me. And that's the problem we got. Well, with that being said, I want to close out. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, 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 would say, I would say that uh, uh, we're up against so many different things that are in every different direction that uh, my motto is to use uh, by all means necessary. So whichever way or philosophy that you feel or whatever uh, part of the system that you feel most passionate about fighting against, that people get ready to get on the street, get out in the streets and be active and direct your attention towards it. And, and don't discount any, any one person's right. ideas because it's going to take all of our ideas no up against the system. What we're going to do, uh, my, my, my closing statement, the council is going to show the world how this thing's supposed to be done. We're going to show right. how to do it in fine. Like I said, if uh, Yang and Yandy can bring the Crips, the Bloods, these, these are people that fought in blood. The gangsters disciples together, we are the example because we didn't already unite. Did, hey, we united, aren't we, Yang? Yeah, we united. All right. And so, then I just want to say to Vince, like Vince said, he said we got to get out the poll. It was, it, was, it was sad that we didn't get out to the poll and he reckoned numbers. But there again, it goes back to, and I will lay the responsibility on the, the different political parties and specifically the Democratic Party as showing the need to get out there. Black people have developed after for what? You know what I'm saying? You say don't get the Republican. We already screwed up. So when you say the Republicans are going to screw it up, they say what? how worse can it get? You, better you know be. what I'm saying? So right. we got to be educated. I, I, there we go. So yeah, political education is huge. And then always remember that throughout America's history, when this when this country started, only six percent of the population was was given the opportunity of voting, and they were white men who owned property. Yeah. And that's and, and that has been in the background throughout the years when they have tried when people have tried to get 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 their right to vote. Uh, that always has to be remembered in the backdrop because that group is still continuing to try to hold on to the power that they've had throughout history. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you never can rule out the white supremacy that's going on, exactly. and, and it just won't, it doesn't seem to want to go away. And 
going back to what you said about being able to vote from home and the other social security card solution you came up with, that the, sounds well and good to being able to vote. Um, that sounds well and good, but we got to be able to get our people to unify yeah. to still vote. I mean, you can set up the system that's right, that's right. And, and, and have it set up, but can you get the people to come and utilize the system? And that's what one of the things we no. got to well, work on and, 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 and unify. Me and, younger, me and Younger got the black males. Who y'all got? One of their motives has always been to continue this black apathy. children. Okay. To continue I don't care this if male apathy. or female. Yeah. Okay. They want us that's to be apathetic. They don't want us to be involved. You know what I'm saying? Right. They want to create but, so much right. confusion but you, that people you realize if we came together Together and we got the black voter percentage up to 60, 70, 80 yeah. percent. Do you know how much that would disrupt this? It might not right. shut it down, but yeah. you know well, how much that down. would yeah. disrupt this system? Yeah. And that's the type of unity that me and Brother Yang are talking about. We yes, need. Let's do it. Y'all keep talking about nothing's going to happen. It ain't going to happen if you're not yeah. doing anything. All right, well, nothing me, from nothing yeah. leaves nothing. Besides yeah. everyone going out and voting on that time, there's so much work to be done look, after that. Right. Day. Right, right. But if right. everybody can agree, just go but, out there and knock that out. But look, it starts with the voting because one of the reasons, one of the problems with a lot of the young black men getting shot down and nothing happening is, come on. My, my brother Anthony Hudson told me that it's how the legislation is written that they can get away with it the way they get away with it. So we got to vote to get the legislation changed in order to see the kind of change that we want. And look at that racial profiling right there. Uh, look at that massive racial profiling. Well, they're not going to see that. Out. They're not going to see that. All right. Y'all right, we out next week. Look at that massive week. racial profiling. We're going to we deal with our Every Malia. single day in the state of Georgia. Space, we good, yeah. Stand up yeah. against it. Stand up. In the Stand up. Stop racial profiling. Stop mass incarceration. They're stop mass around. incarceration. Black folks, stop complaining. Get They're up, get out and do right. something. They're destroying our we environment. We always rapping. Please. That's another reason why you Please. need to get in the streets.